Hello, my name is Marta Pillip. I am a realtor in Greater Philadelphia area, and today we will talk about how to find a good agent. First step into finding a good agent is asking your friends and family. Maybe they had, maybe they recently sold or bought a property and they can recommend from their own personal experience somebody that they liked that really helped them. It does not necessarily mean that you just have to accept uh, that agent and don't go through the interview. Please listen to your friends and family, but still do your research. Another step is if you do not have any friends or family that can recommend you somebody, always you can look up many, many agents on Google, Realtor, Realtor.com, Zillow, Truly, there's so many websites that you can do your research. Um, let's talk about good Realtor criteria. First of all, not every real estate agent is a Realtor. In order for a real estate agent to be a Realtor, they have to be uh, part of National Association of Realtors, uh, which means that they have to adhere to a special code of ethics. I always recommend have go with the agent that is part of the NAR, National Association of Realtors. Um, another criteria is this agent has to specialize in your particular area of interest. There is many agents that say that they sell everywhere. You ask them about this area, you ask them about a completely different city that your friends are looking in, and they say, yes, I sell in here and I sell over there. And let me tell you, the agent that sells everywhere does not sell anywhere. Um, that is simply because they are not busy enough in their particular area. That's why they sell everywhere. Uh, the agent that specializes, that is busy in their area, they know the buyer, they know the seller, they know the market, they can give you some valuable advice. Another criteria is um, experience, of course, experience. Uh, the, the question that you have to ask is not as what is your experience with real estate. The question that you should ask is what year did you get your real estate license? That's the question that you have to ask because what is your experience is a very broad answer and very broad question. But if you ask it, what year did you receive your real estate license? That's more particular date. Um, next one is how many sales in the last 12 months? Because realtors with bigger experiences that I've been in real estate for 20 years, how many sales did you do in the last year? And they would say, three or four because they're already retired. They don't work as much. Uh, so that's a very valuable question, particularly you. How many sales, not your office, uh, not your team, you, particularly you, how many uh, real estate deals did you have in the last 12 months? If you are looking for a listing agent, there are, there are a few other questions that I suggest you, you should ask. Um, very particular question is, are you using a professional photographer? If you are paying an agent for selling your house, you want your agent to deliver the best results. In order to deliver the best results, they have to have a professional photographer. This is not an option. You cannot have an agent come over to your house and take pictures with your cell phone. That's a big no-no. Uh, another question is, uh, you should ask is uh, what is your marketing plan? They have to have a marketing plan in order to have success with selling your home. And the third and probably most popular question is what is your commission? And let me tell you, the lowest does not mean the best. The reason for it, if you are looking for a successful agent that knows what they're doing, they simply cannot have the lowest commission out of everybody because agents that uh, suggest you the lower commission that, uh, that any other agent, that means simply A, they're not busy enough and they're desperate to have some work, they're desperate to have your listing, or uh, B, they cannot negotiate. If they cannot negotiate their own salary, their own money, do you think they can negotiate your money? Think about it twice. I would never suggest you to go with an agent that agreed to a very low commission.
The last but certainly not least criteria is how you connect with that agent. Is their work criteria is compatible with your work criteria? Um, can you easily speak with them? Can you trust them? Do they feel trustworthy? How are they listening to you? When they're, Can they actually hear you when you're speaking? When uh, you're asking them a question or are they just talking about themselves? This is very, very important. You should be confident and comfortable with your agent. That is it for today. If you have any other questions, please let me know. And also, if you are looking to buy, sell, or simply have an advice about real estate in greater Philadelphia area, let me know. I would be honored to help you. Thank you. Have a good day.